We start off with her. Well, we are here today. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We are here today to. <laughs> we are here today because we, are, we took a leave together. Yeah, <laughs> and then. What, what, what do we even want to do either? <laughs> mm, because we want to have a, have a break and yeah. enjoy life a little. True. Yep. So, so, let's so what did we do to it? Yeah, we actually did so many things. No, la. we didn't say many things. We did so many things. Three things. <laughs> we went to swim. Yep. Then we had. Insert clips here. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can do that. Insert. Ah, but I did them too. Okay, okay, okay. You don't need to insert clips here. Okay, then we. Okay, we, check, check. we hiked. We hiked to Shake In a park towards Shake Shack. Okay, la, but it was flat ground. Yeah. And then the weather track, was good. Then the track is also not for flat ground, right? Eh? We walked. Yeah. We walked. <laughs> it was show, it was show. <laughs> yeah. And then we had Shake Shack. What did we have? We had a... Yeah, such stack. a feeling burger. Shake Stack with a portobello mushroom. Yeah, and the portobello mushroom beef. has cheese. Yes, and with a, with a beef patty. Yeah. Not so feeling. Okay, my horror story is don't buy the cheese fries. Okay, like, at least yeah. that's, to, that's to me what it is. I like the crinkle fries, but the cheese sauce was too... Not nice, right? Too jelak, which is... means. <laughs> Make someone feel sick. <laughs> no, we were just talking about how there is no English word yeah, for jalat. There's no English word for jalat. In Chinese, it's called ni. Yeah. Yeah. Malay jalat. English, according <laughs> to her, is sick. <laughs> but it doesn't sick. quite. It doesn't quite capture the meaning. I guess. And then we walk all the way back with food. <laughs> too much sugar. Too much uh, yeah. unhealthy food for today. And so. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna share three things. Yes. Each of us share three things about uh anything that we recommend. My first one, uh, something that is more chill, someone something for you to watch on a, uh when you want to relax. Is this Chinese show? <laughs> Chinese variety show called Zai Jie Ai Ren, which uh-huh. uh, direct translates to uh, Goodbye Lover or uh-huh. Goodbye My Love. Why do you So it's about it's about these three couples that uh, they are either already divorced, divorced mm-hmm. or they are going through divorce. Mm-hmm. So they are sent on a, a trip, a journey around uh, this part of China, I think it's uh, in Xinjiang, that region. Yeah, actually Xinjiang is supposed to be quite nice, right? Yeah, it's very nice. With, uh, and people look like Amo. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. They look like Russians because it's very oh. close to them. And, uh, they are also a different uh, race, yeah, mm-hmm. Uyghur and Zhu, yeah, so it's not the... Hans was the majority of the population. Oh, okay, so yeah. they travel there and they went to a lot of very nice places actually. Mm-hmm. Like there were uh, places that look like that desert, deserts and mountainous places, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, through this trip, they need to, it's like a chance for them to uh, redefine the relationship, rediscover themselves. Mm-hmm. And and they also share a lot about their personal life, about why they have come to this stage where they are almost going to divorce or they are already divorced. Okay. So you really, uh, you, you get to take a peek into other people's relationship, mm. married couples' relationship, and uh, also yeah. learn a lot. Okay. Yeah. But did anyone manage to stay there? Yes, actually, out of the three couples, one of them were already divorced, so there's nothing much to do. They are not getting back. Then, what's the point? Like, they just. Okay, so for them, the reason was that the, the husband, the, the guy, wants to know what was the reason that mm. they were together for 10 years and eventually it didn't work out, and they also okay. had a kid, right? Yeah, so for the other two couples, one of them has already filed. Or divorce, so they are going through the period where uh, they need to in have, a party. Yeah, yeah. For thirty days, they need to uh, like calm down and, and make the final decision. So oh, that was the period. Yeah. Then for the last couple, they have not divorced yet, but uh. they are thinking about filing for divorce. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So eventually, this last couple they did not file for divorce. So after the trip. Yes, after the trip, they decided that they could still stand each other. <laughs> Even though when watching the show, you will get very angry because what did they do? Like you, you will you will see that. There's already uh, a lot of a lot of reasons why they want to divorce. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, but what was the what was the turning point? Like, why did they after that decide that maybe they still can live with each other? Mm. So, eventually, I guess uh, okay. First of all, this couple, I feel like it's more on the the guy's side that that is um of fault because he is an alcoholic and oh. he is quite a uh, temperament like he has anger issues and all that. But then for the guy, for the girl, she is much more reasonable mm. and she's also very rational. So she helps to maintain the relationship. And even though the couple is already like the, the wife is around 40 years old, mm. but she wants to, uh, she doesn't really want to have a kid because mm. of her own family background, because she was raised by a single parent, her mom, mm. and she thinks that is not a good, uh, like, like a family condition for her to grow up in, so she doesn't want that to happen. She thinks that with her husband's temper issues, if she has a kid and she has all the, her, her, because of her hormones, she will get also quite irrational 
she thinks that they were definitely divorced. So that is the main reason she why want she doesn't want a kid. And also because of the guy, he's an alcoholic, right? Uh -huh. So that was also one of the main issue. But towards the end, the guy did show a bit more... Uh, he, he showed that he's, he wants to make a change. Uh -huh. At the beginning and in the middle, I feel, the front portion of the trip, he doesn't even show that he wants to change. Mm. Yeah, so... So it's more because he's willing to change, lah. Yeah, yeah. If so not, then... I think that's the main reason why mm -hmm. eventually they... They still want to be together, la. especially mm. this this uh, wife. She has already been through another marriage, so this is a second marriage. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So it's quite interesting, and uh, I think uh, there's much much more stories in, mm -hmm. in this entire reality show. Yeah. Sounds quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything is more like I want to see. I want to see Xinjiang. <laughs> yeah, you get to see that as well. Yeah. Where do you find the show? Like where do you watch uh, it? YouTube. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm watching your next Netflix. <laughs> Okay, I'll actually go and find it. <laughs> What's your recommendation? Wow, yeah, I think of anything, bro. anything. Okay, talking about shows, I think I recently watched two shows like it. Yeah, it's supposed to be one show, but I'm just gonna share two, I guess. And mm. I call it one category. Like King's Affection and mm -hmm. Hometown Cha Cha Cha. I don't know what's the name, I don't know stupid. Hometown Cha Cha Cha. What mm -hmm. is that? <laughs> and I saw the little preview. Yeah, like, cha 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 Cha. Oh, oh, so that's what I mean. Yeah. The child, then the guy was like, Oh, do you mean tea? Child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no. Cha -cha -cha. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 I didn't watch the show, and now they are. I didn't watch the show, but I saw the preview on Netflix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clearly, my brain was not open, but yeah. So, actually, I didn't, I didn't even know the meaning. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought it was stupid. Oh. Uh, so, I finished King's of Action already. Mm -hmm. And King's of Action was quite interesting. La. Like, the whole story plot was very interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's like very, it's like very bitter, sweet love story. So, I think that's mm -hmm. what I usually like in shows, where there's like, when the relationship or like the romance, right, it's not so smooth. It's like there are some, how to, how to say, like drama oh. and like a bit of like sadness and kind of nonsense lah. Mm, did yeah. you cry? <laughs> no eh, I didn't. But I think I at some point almost did. Mm, yeah, mm. almost did because actually, but if I say too much, then I'll ruin the like story mm. plot, right? You can give one hint, what is the most, something that captures you the most? Um. So I think, okay, so at this point, right, like, the crown prince, mm -hmm. who is not, um, not a guy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, actually, so, so this one doesn't really, re uh, re doesn't really destroy the plot, because yeah. at the start, they really reveal that yeah. she's a girl, yeah, so the crown prince, um, at some point told the tutor, the handsome guy, right, that she doesn't want to see him ever again, because she's going to get married, yeah, then the guy told him, told her that, um, Okay, in that case, then I don't want to take your promotion because he she actually tried to promote him to another position. Mm. It still I think within her palace, but then he said that okay, I don't take this position. I want to go and return back to my previous life before I enter this whole palace, mm. so that I will never see you again, and so that like I will never pretend to like stumble into your 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 living area and then see you lah. Mm. Yeah, and I was like oh, so sad. Like he <laughs> like he likes her, but uh. and she likes him also. But at the same time, like they cannot yeah. they cannot say. But then do they know that? The guy knows that she's a girl, right? No, the the so so this handsome yeah. guy, right, he doesn't know. He doesn't know oh. that she's a girl. Oh, yeah. but he's still in love with her. Yeah, but he's still in love with her. Oh, a bit so, of gayness. Yeah. <laughs> so he's in love with her, right? Uh -huh. Thinking that he she's a guy. Yeah, thinking that it's forbidden love. Yeah, but the thing is, right, it's not that he thinks that, oh, because guy and guy, that's why it's forbidden. Yeah. He thinks it's more like, oh, because you're a crown prince. That's why it's forbidden. Why is he so strange? I don't know. But <laughs> it's like he actually confessed to her, no. <laughs> yeah, he actually did tell her that um, uh, what like what I have for you, I realize it's not just respect uh, as a prince, but it's more uh, like affection yeah. and love. Then she replied to say that oh, then same it's just, thing, same here. No, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's the saddest part. It's like she wants to say same uh, here, right? Yeah. But she had to say oh, that's what you have on your end only. Like mm. on my end is nothing. Mm, mm, mm. Even though she inside right, yeah. it's like you know day and night she's thinking about it, but she cannot say <laughs> because she cannot reveal that she's a girl. Yeah. yeah. So I think that whole story is so much. It's like. You feel something, but you cannot say it. But you hope yeah. that the person understands. They should just elope and then it will be fine. Because anyway, she's really a girl. Yeah, they but it's very hard. For me, no? <laughs> yeah, so I think she considered, but I think I think she also realised that once her identity is like shown, right, mm. the next thing that they will do to her is probably to kill her. And not, mm. like she won't have a chance to leave because you deceive so many people for so many okay, years. Okay, eh. okay. Yeah, like from young all the way, you are bluffing everyone. Yeah. Like, you are pretending to be the crown prince and you are inside a girl. Like. Yeah. Yeah. So also another thing about the show is how many hot guys are there in the show? <laughs> are there any not hot guys in the show? Hmm. I think there's only one hot guy though. Okay, maybe my taste is a bit different. Oh, okay. But yeah, so I think there's only one hot guy. So that's King's Affection. Okay. Then the hometown one. Okay, I hate the, I hate the name lah. It just mm. doesn't make sense to me. But the hometown one, 
I feel it's more mild [lah] ya it's more mild and it's more like a lovey dovey show it doesn't keep me like like always hoping to watch the next episode because there's not much of ya not dramatic not so like not like not like the king's affection like got a lot of every season got some kind of progression then got some kind of accident happen then ya so it's like a sweet feel good show ya I think hometown is more sweet and feel good and maybe also resonated with me a bit because the girl is like those basically she come from city area right like #seoul# right then she went to move to this rural area where the whole where peop~ what people value is very different [mah] in rural area people value like happy happiness they chit chat they gossip like all the very simple things in life but in the city you value all like your success your money all these kind of things right so when she first move there right she like it's like culture shock to her she's like !huh! how come I don't have the shampoo that I want or like basically all the all the things that she value all the expensive things is like suddenly not valuable in that place ya ya then ya [lor] so when she met the guy the handsome guy the supposedly handsome guy right then the handsome guy also don't value the same thing as her [lah] and so initially it's like she kind of look down on him like this kind of person will never suit me ya because I'm the kind who like I'm successful I'm dentist then you are what you are like some #chapalang# man who does every nonsense right then you like not even don't have career don't have anything right ya so I guess it's like a bit relatable in that sense but it's also more of like a soothing kind of show I like that because I also like how the the girl always wears very nice clothes ya 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 my mum watch it so sometimes I always see it then (hmm) I want to dress like that she actually looks very glam [hor] ya all the time ya 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 she's so sweet both of them have dimples ya so cute [oh] my god the dimples the dimples in that show I think I like the guy's character more than the girl (hmm) ya cause the guy is (ppo) how is he what what kind of character is he does it re~ does it (err) fit into your ideal type (ppl) objectively no no but I think there are some things about him that I think are some things that I really think also (mm) like example his chillness like to no matter who you talk to you can be very chill is it the quiet confidence ya something like something like quiet confidence he doesn't need to like put on a front or like pretend to be someone else he's the same to everybody and he just be himself [lor] like regardless of how so called like successful or powerful so one time he met a parent he met her parents and then he was talking to the parents in a very chill way ya that like by right he wasn't supposed to [lah] by right when you see the older people you're supposed to treat them very like respect ya so that's quite that's quite (um) interesting ya you would like to have a parent with that kind of trait ya that kind of trait chill ya but I guess also resonate with the like [oh] you know the education level and stuff that kind of thing like you you also don't really want a partner who like ya you know the education level in real life you would have second thoughts ya but then again he he is educated like in the show [lah] at least in the show ya 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 and ya but that's only in the show [lah] like in real life things are not always like that ya definitely the second one we wanted to talk about podcast right ya 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 okay I can show you we also have a podcast to share okay okay I will go with (err) this podcast called after hours so it's a three (err) harvard professor that they will share about (err) topics that or or news or phenomenons and that they want to share about weekly and every one of them will bring in a topic each week and (err) discuss about it and because they are harvard professors and they are also like like director and advisors of many firms right so they really have a lot of knowledge and they have a lot of their perspectives that it's very interesting okay so what's one interesting thing that you actually picked up from the podcast they talk about a variety of things they talk about like (err) let me think they talk about supply chain and stuff but okay for that I also don't remember much [lah] because I'm also not too interested but when I listen to it I think okay the way that they say it's pretty interesting then for example recently they were talk about chip shortages ya it's this chip shortages like (um) the the micro the The chips that they use in cars to to make cars like there's a shortage in the market then so because of that they talk about supply chains [ah] so they talk about (err) the whole facebook saga about how there's a whistleblower and all that so they just talk about this kind of Uh topics but they have a lot of interesting perspectives and they will discuss with one another okay so it's the discussion amongst themselves that's the interesting part rather than just someone saying about a news Mm. yeah then do they always agree or like disagree or something that I really like about them is that they can disagree but they always the way that they disagree with one another is like they are very polite and calm and respectful mm. they are a bit okay like doesn't they, go into yeah, a fight la. yeah yeah they will okay. just be like hmm, I, I do think that I see a point here but I may be looking at this issue from a cynical point of view or something mm, 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 right okay, okay. so I get it, it's, it's not the very uh, aggressive kind of debate yeah mm, interesting yeah. but now that if you ask me what is one topic that they discuss right what is what is one topic? No, I get I get what you mean. Because sometimes they're discussing so many useful yeah. um concepts. I don't really remember. Right. And and I also don't really remember what exactly they share. I just know that their perspectives are very interesting. Okay. Yeah. How long is one podcast? Thirty minutes. Okay, that's quite reasonable. And so that is why 
just now I suggested that we share three things that we want we want to like recommend because at the end of the podcast they will always share, share one thing. They will just share one thing they want oh. to recommend. And it can be anything. They can be they can uh also uh, recommend like a pop, like a film or a show mm. and they can also even recommend something that's very serious, like um like like maybe article or something like okay. books la, or like other serious stuff. Okay. Even habits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Habits also recommend a habit. <laughs> Okay, okay. But I actually want to go and listen to it. Yeah, it sounds quite interesting. Mm. Yeah, can listen to it while I'm. Mm. Recommend me one too, so that I can also listen to it. Uh, but the one that I, I was going to recommend is more like religion, um, religion related. Mm. So it's this podcast called Chat and Tori. But I think it's a bit hard to explain because basically for us, right, like religion is a, a part and parcel of the way we live also. Huh? Mm. Yeah, but then sometimes we're very busy, right? It's hard to keep up with our religious stuff. Mm. Yeah, like for us, we got this Bible. Then we are supposed to read it regularly, but then there are sometimes humans that are tired and we don't feel like reading. So I will turn to podcast. Yeah. And then this podcast is quite, even though it's like a Christian focused podcast, right? It's quite um application based. Means it's very relatable to life one. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's not like just teaching, oh the Bible says blah blah, that kind mm-hmm. of that kind of concept. It's more also like um sometimes they talk about their relationships, how to deal with their own relationships, mm-hmm. how to um like fight well, you know that kind of thing. It's like very fight. practical. Yeah, like fight well with your partner. It's like oh, how fight. To, yeah, okay, not like really fight. Yeah, <laughs> fight lah, but like you okay, know, okay. deal with conflict mm. and stuff. How to deal with differences. Mm. They also have a YouTube channel. Mm. Then recently they did like oh their reactions to bad dating advice. Mm. Yeah. So it's quite even though it's like they are both like religious mm-hmm. and like same like Christian, but they share things that are quite uh how to say like very relatable cool. to all. Yeah, well. yeah. Yeah. So I think that's quite a good um channel and their advice are. Very wise lah. I mean, yeah, it's Bible yeah. based. Would they? Yeah, they would throw in some like Bible reference. Or they throw in like religious. Uh, sometimes they do. From... Sometimes they do. But sometimes, okay. So even if they throw in religious reasons, even if let's say you don't believe in the reason, mm. but sometimes the reason still makes sense, ma. It's like wisdom, you know. Mm-hmm. Like things that things that still kind of are applicable to everyone, yeah. whether or not you are religious or not. Mm-hmm. So it's like in the past, we might think that uh, for like a religious podcast or a religious YouTube channel, it might be very. Serious and like yeah, but focus actually, on the, the need to the devotion, but yeah. but now that you say it, it sounds like just a regular channel, but they, yeah. they will reference certain like yeah. maybe Bible from the Bible, right? Yeah, sometimes, and, but it's applicable to everyone. Yeah, but it's applicable to everyone. Mm-hmm. So it's very, I think it's quite like anybody can watch it. I don't mm-hmm. have to necessarily be religious to watch it. Also, mm-hmm. the Bible is very interesting because she used to be a model, mm-hmm. like she's like Miss Florida, that kind. Mm-hmm. Of. Then the guy is also a model. Like his career was to be a model. So actually if you see their background, it's very not typical. You go and think like Christians, you think like, oh, they, they are not pastors or whatever. They're not pastors. They're not. They are, they are just like normal people like mm. you and me. They have a regular, like, yeah lah. So they used to be models, yeah. right? And then they, they got into a relationship. They're quite interesting people. Not so, mm. not like the, the boring kind that you will expect. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Our third, should we think of a genre? Um, genre. Genre. I was going to recommend yoga. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Lifestyle. The okay, third okay, genre, lifestyle. genre is lifestyle. Okay, lifestyle. Um, okay, I think about my lifestyle. <laughs> okay, so I was going to recommend yoga because also I used to do yoga a long, long time ago. Like, uh, maybe five, six years ago. Then after that, there was this whole, um, like some people have told me that yoga is a bit like, it's religion based also. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. like that you have some other, but then the thing is, I'm Christian, so I don't want to follow another religion. Mm. Right? I don't want to follow another practice that is not my religion mm. in that sense. So that's why after a while I stopped. <laughs> because of that reason. Okay. But okay, that's that's part of the reason. Lah. But I always believe that um it doesn't matter that yoga is religious because when I'm doing it right, I think of the health benefits only. Yeah. Like I'm not thinking as though I am doing a yeah. religious practice or yeah. ritual or I something. I also don't like think that. of it as a religious thing. Yeah, so I think so to me it's like if I think of it that way, mm. I think it's okay. Lah. So that that's actually my personal stance. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm. Then um yeah, so but then recently right, I felt I, I tried different types of exercises lah, mm. was like Chloe Ting lah. What? Oh Chloe Ting. Yeah, Chloe Ting, okay. Pilates, whatever lah, all this kind of funny things. Chloe Ting became a became a type of exercise. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't know why. Okay, <laughs> why, why is even her type, right? It's like um home, home, it's just home, home based. Yeah, home based workouts lah. <laughs> but it's not something new. It's like every people have been doing videos yeah. for home based workouts. She just became very popular for don't know what reason. Uh actually easy to follow, right? And also but there are a lot, eh. you know, you actually search like home yeah. workouts, there are so many There's so many, but some are too tiring. Like some you can't even, as a oh. beginner, you can't even follow. But for Chloe Ting, it's how still Beginner also can follow. Okay. Yeah. okay, I guess she's also quite clear in her instructions. Yeah. Yeah, so I tried doing all this. Then I was also really running. Then I realized that, but there's one problem, right, that mm. all these exercises don't solve, which is stiffness of the body. Because, you know, yeah. we always sit down, 
right for work like nine to five you're sitting down then your body becomes very stiff then even if you run right it's like your whole body doesn't loosen up once like you it's just blood pumping around but you are not stretching any like muscle yes yeah so then I recently tried (um) yoga and I follow youtube videos [lah] ya !wah! then I found it so good [eh] like it's literally you stretch every part of your body then all like your whole stiffness for the whole day is just you get stretched out and it doesn't even take that long it can just be like twenty minutes or thirty minutes so I recently discovered like how good it can be to do it from time to time within a week ya actually that that is really a very good way because (err) nowadays my only exercise I just try to run ya ya but it doesn't really ya it doesn't then the neck here is like so stiff and the shoulders especially when you like in this typing position for very long right ya so before that right because the thing is like for me if I do one type of exercise right that's enough for me if I run I just run but the thing about yoga because in the past I did try a period of doing like stretching exercises instead of like exercising exercises right you just don't sweat as much and you don't feel like exercise that is the only downside so the good thing is the good way would be you maybe one day do yoga one day you do the sweating exercises ya I agree with you okay that's actually my mindset also which is why I went to run because I feel that from running I feel like I sweat the most it's like wow I really work out you know exactly that is also why I like running because you don't even have to for example you just listen to podcast and run right you don't even have to think you are like just go ya just go that's it ya agree with you when you are doing those chloe thing exercises in the middle you are so exhausted and you are like I want to stop and you still want to need to listen and think about what's the next movement then you will be more tempted to just stop but running you just tired or just continue doing your thing just go ya but so so for yoga right ya I also have the same problem like I feel like I don't exercise sometimes right it's just a stretch so I try to find those that um are like training like body strengthening at the same time as yoga so it's stretch plus like muscle building also ya so I think those are quite good cause you actually you will feel quite tired after you don't feel like it's just a stretch right it's more like you work your abs your arm and like ya at the same time while stretching that's good okay you need to recommend me some more ya ya I can recommend maybe I'll do like a yoga mat there and it's not very difficult like cause I never it's like I just start only right I feel like I can follow so it's not that bad ya 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 okay maybe (err) one year down the road we'll become yoga expert if you do it everyday I don't think I'll do it everyday I'll get bored of things very fast oh that's that's our three recommendations ya we've done that hey what it was fast okay are there any questions ya we need to have an end day um this is our pilot right not our one please (err) check out our new channel are we are we creating our pilot is on your channel we see if it's interesting enough then we can do more okay so if you like our channel as in if you like this actually in my all my videos I've never asked anyone to like share or subscribe I don't think people will because ya like for me I don't have a account so if I go and make a account my friend never even subscribe you better subscribe maybe you want to create a channel then I'll have a account okay so how do we end this okay let's end it by just okay bye it was a fun time. Okay, okay, okay we share about where we are going later. Where, 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 where are we going later? <laughs> where are you going later? We are going different places. <laughs> yeah. You're going to meet your friend, I'm going to meet my friend. Yeah, so okay. That's the way life is when you're old. That's the end of our, our little, little talk. Yeah. Our little talk show. Chat chat. <laughs> Chit chat. Okay. Bye. Bye.